Okay, this one's easy enough. Up, up, down, down. Okay, up, down, up, down. Okay, you can do this. Up, up, down. Wait, for four hours? I have to wait here for four hours? That's ridiculous. Eight hours, this is like torture. Oh my God. The other ones must have definitely found an exit by now. Is this a way out? I don't know, but I don't want any of you to touch it. I told you not to touch the damn button, man. Well, why not? Nothing's happening. You guys can't read. It says Andrew press the button. Not shall press the button, not I should press the button, and not should you press the button. Maybe if I touch my button it would work. Watch, I'll go to one of your doors and see if I can open it, and it won't work. One? That's your door? Alright, I'll try it out. Look, it says turn the handle up, up, down, up. Simple enough, right? It's not working. I can't open the door. So, you, you psychotic idiot, what was your obstacle? Well, um, I was supposed to go under a ladder. <laughs> and why the hell was that so hard? Everybody knows that when you go under a ladder, you get cursed. You know what? Whatever, man. I'm done with your crap. You, what was your obstacle, huh? If I contain my anger for 16 hours, my door's gonna open. <laughs> so that's it? 16 hours? Not anybody can do that. Why can't you? It's not as easy as you think, alright? Actually, it is as easy as I think it is. Well, what do you know about my problems? Well, you're one to judge. You can't even press the freaking button. Just man up and do it. 
know what? I don't owe you guys an explanation. I'm definitely not biting the bullet for any of you. A simple hand movement. All I needed to do was press a trigger and shoot him, and he would have been gone. But I pulled my hand away. I could have used his dead body, brought it under the ladder, and the door to freedom would have been opened. Every obstacle here can only be overcome by the person it belongs to, and I know that for a fact. Nothing happened when they pressed my button, and I couldn't open that girl's door when I tried. Everything in this place is DNA controlled, and I do not have one doubt in my mind. All I had to do was kill one of them and use them as my escape, but I just couldn't. I couldn't shoot that psychotic bastard. Memories of war and good friends long gone. Oh, Major Galt, my best friend and squad member. I had to shoot him. I had to. He was caught in enemy fire and was wounded. I, I, I couldn't let him live with that agonizing pain for any longer. I could have... No, no, no. I had to end his life. It's for his own good. When I had my gun at that superstitious and religious bastard's head, Galt's face, his pain, his despair, all came back to me, and I just couldn't shoot him. These memories of war, the gunshots at night and the bombs going off in the sky, I hear them everywhere I go. To me, everyone is an enemy. Trust is not something I am capable of feeling. That button, I'm too afraid. Of what, I don't know. But it's too much to handle, too much to take in anymore. A life full of this fear is just not one that I want to live anymore. Galt, see you soon, bud. Out of here or not? Somebody grab his arm. Oh my god. No! Oh my god! You grab his arm and press the button. But he's dead. He's dead. Just grab his arm. Are you sure about this? Just grab his arm and push the button. Are you positive? Oh my god! I can't. I can't do it. Oh my god. That was easy. Hey Michelle, how's it going? Oh, good, uh, I'm good, I'm good. Listen, I was wondering if you wanted to come over and have dinner with Julie and I so we could have that uh, discussion we've always wanted to have about what happened that night. Good? Oh, okay, uh, how about tomorrow at 6 o'clock? Perfect. Okay, see you then. Yet another failure. No matter what level of effort I put into my treatments, they just never seem to aid anyone. They never end up working. What started out as a simple attempt to help change people's lives has left me with this damned obsession, one that has consumed my life. There is always something that is overlooked, something that goes amiss. There is no doubt that the experiment has made progress from previous years. One dead body is definitely an improvement over four, but I have yet to actually rid a subject of their illness, something that drives me mad day after day. I feel that I'm close to the answer. I feel that the next time it'll actually happen. I can't stop now, not with the end in sight. I can't just give up. I won't just let these people live like this. I must keep trying. I must for once rid my subjects of their psychological impairments. This is more than just a treatment. This is more than just some fanatical cause. It's a goal of mine that will be attained, disregarding the amount of unsuccessful trials. The success of this treatment is in no way for any personal gain but rather for the lives of my patients. Drastic times call for drastic measures, and as immoral as they may be, they must be taken. <laughs>